Then if this is going to be a lecture on home safety, forget it, okay? Well, what's the matter? I'll mail you a list. Look, I thought I'd better come by and warn you. Um, whatever's going on here between you and Jill, it could get worse. Her friend Dakota stopped by at the bar, and he's been asking for her. Yeah? The guy sure does get around, doesn't he? Look, I know this must be very hard for you, but he's bound to come here. She left with him already. You let him in here, and you let him take her? I didn't let him do anything, Siobhan. Jill and I were in here talking, and uh, he just burst through the door and comes in here threatening everybody. Well, why didn't you throw him out? Because she wanted to go with him. Got the picture? She had a choice between the fisherman and me, and she chose the fisherman. motor on your boat had been working. We could have gone away last night. Why did you go to New York with him? Because what he said made sense. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He said that if I wanted to give up this life, I should know the life that I, I was leaving behind. I need to know who I am, Dakota. Well, now you know. Yeah. I'm Joe Ryan. I'm a lawyer. I have a family. Husband. So, why did I come to New Jersey and say that I was Sarah Jane Hillier? I don't care what you call yourself. But I lied to Laureleen and Denny. I pretended to be somebody that I'm not. That matters. Not to me. What matters to me right now is whether what happened back there has changed things between us. Did it? stay with me, then you stay. If you want to go, then you just say the word. You know what I really like right now? I would like not to think about it right now. Okay, Miss Scarlet. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. Somebody must have told you where to find me. Your sister told me. Maggie? Maggie. She's the one that called the seaside to tell me that Frank was coming down to get me. You two must have been real close. She was just as hell-bent on getting you away from Frank as I was. people that, that I met today. I just felt the least, the least comfortable with her.
You sure seem to ride at home with Frank. Will you stop and just look at this from Jill's point of view? Now, how'd you feel if you walked into a room full of people claiming to be your family and you didn't recognize one of them? Now, it must have been terrifying for her. I would want to run like hell to someplace familiar and to people I knew. It wasn't terrifying for her. She, she was not terrified being here with me alone. Frank, I know how much you love her. She was responding. She was responding to the place. She was responding to me. There were no problems. There was no pressure. I know she felt something. I was just... I was getting close. I was getting close to getting her back. And then this jerk comes waltzing in here. No matter what she felt for you, she doesn't know you. No, when she is well. When she's well? You think the guy's gonna let her get well? Do you really think so? He's riding high, baby. He's on the inside. Oh, come on. You can't really believe that he'd deliberately try to keep her from getting well. Yes, I do. I do believe that. And you know what? Doesn't matter what he wants. Jill's gonna get back. She's gonna get back home. One way or the other. Uh, I promise you. Okay, I can take a hint. I'm out of here. Oh, will you let me tell you one more thing? Now, it's about Max. I know he had no right to interfere, and uh, you just have to understand that Jill is his lawyer, is his friend. Yes, I know. I know the whole history of it, Siobhan. I really do. I, Excuse me. He just wanted to help Frank, but he's used to doing things his own way, just like you. Well, look at this, will you? Now, how do you suppose a simple fisherman like that could learn how to pick a sophisticated lock like this, huh? How do you suppose? He wouldn't. He wouldn't. You're right. He wouldn't. And you know what? I think, I think that this guy that Jill's with is more complicated than we think he is. I want you to run a make on him. <laughs>